Master Sivananda said, bear insult, bear injury. Keeping this in mind, how do I remain neutral and maintain my dignity when other people try to undermine my work and make me wrong because it's not being done that, their way? Hmm. So the other people say that. What do you say yourself? to yourself. Why do you want to worry about what others say? Ask yourself, what does your conscience say? Follow it. Others see you with their eye. If it's all right, useful, take it. Otherwise, ignore it. People always see others with their own eye. A jaundiced eye will always see yellow, yellow, yellow everywhere. According to the Mahabharata, As you know, the Kauravas, the hundred brothers, and Pandavas, five brothers. The eldest of the Pandavas is Dharmaputra. The eldest of the Kauravas, Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra is a vicious boy. Dharmaputra is a quite nice boy. So the teacher, who was teaching all the royal children, seemed to have a special affinity towards Dharmaputra, the good boy. So the bad boy got annoyed. So one day, the Guru wanted to teach them a lesson. They called both and asked the bad boy, I want you to go around the town, collect a good boy to do some good job. In every way, he should be a good character, good boy. I have a work to do with him. Get a boy like that. He said, I don't know. Let me see. I'll look for it. So he went out. He called the good boy and said, I have a dirty job to do. Can you go around the town and select a dirty fellow? Bring me, I have some work to do with him. Swami, where can I see a dirty boy here? Well, if you say, all right, I'll go and see. See, one boy, the good boy went out looking for a dirty fellow. The dirty boy went out to get a good boy. They both went round the town. Towards the evening, they both came back. And the bad boy said, I searched all over. Everybody is a dirty rascal. (laughs) If at all there is some good work to do, give me that, I will do. I am the good fellow. When the good boy came and said, I couldn't see any dirty fellow there. Everybody has something nice, something nice, something nice. Looks like thinking that I could find a dirty fellow, I went there, no? That itself made me a dirty boy. So I'm fit for that dirty work. Give me that work. 
What does it mean? They both went to the same town. He couldn't see a good boy anywhere. <laughs> this man couldn't see a bad boy anywhere. Why? Their own eye. You judge people from your own mind. So, clean up here. Don't worry about what they say. They will say whatever they feel. You ask yourself, am I really like that? If the answer is yes, correct it. Because there is a person, a clean person, clean consciousness, constantly watching you. It will tell you what is right and wrong. Nobody has to tell you. Long time back, while I was in Ceylon, Sri Lanka, I went to a, a small prison, the kid, little kids prison. They were all little, little kids. So casually I asked them, tell me who will be a, what kind of a good boy will do? What will do a good boy? They all said, oh, he is a nice man. He won't fight with anybody. He won't tell, a, tell lies. He won't steal things. Huh? All the good thoughts. So what will be a bad boy doing? Oh, he will be dirty. Always bad words, stealing, telling lie, fighting with people. Hmm. So you know who is a good boy and who is a bad boy. Yes, yes, we know. Why are you here? (laughs) Say, they all know. They were all mostly, all the boys were illiterate. Hmm. You don't have to go to school to learn that. You all know what is right and what is wrong. But the problem is, do the right and not... The first question came, the flesh, (laughs) listening to the flesh. That's what. So, ask yourself, build up yourself. Make your own mind clean. You'll be a blessed boy. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. That's what we want to achieve. Always good, 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 good. And what is a good deed, and what is a bad deed? Hmm? Hmm? How do you define a certain act is good, certain act is bad? Hmm? Telling a lie is a bad? Hmm? Hmm? Being, getting angry with somebody, hmm? shouting at somebody is bad? No. It depends upon how you use those things. You can tell a lie to bring good to people and not to hurt anybody. That's what the Ruvallavar says. Poimayum vaimayadatta Puridhirnda nanmi payakkaminin Even telling a lie can be accounted as a golden truth. If it's not hurting anybody, and if it's bringing at least some benefit to somebody. Hmm. 
So keep that golden rule in your life and follow that in your thought, word and deed. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Exactly done.